Well, I'm here to fight the Wallace property on the rent increase. I'm in a one bedroom. They're trying to go up like $295. And as long as there's city life, right. I am not intimidated. Right. We have children in here, you know, we want a clean environment for them. When we was trying to form this tenant association, plenty of people didn't know about their rights. They raised, they want to raise my rent for $580 more. And what they gave me, nothing. I am not going to stand for that. We are happy with our neighbors. We are happy with our community. We have our kids here going to school in the neighborhood. We're not supposed to run. We're supposed to make our home, send our kids to the school that we feel safe and send them to. Because I learned with City Life, when we fight, we win. My mom doesn't need to pay too much for all these things that happen. Uh, it's not her fault they happen. We just live in there and we have to pay all of this. <laughs> all right. So I had a fire and um, so I moved here. There was no place to go. Right. Couldn't get anything at all. And uh, so uh, we're here. But I also have a Section 8 in for some reason, my land has gone up. What you see today here is happening all over this country. Yes. Poor versus the rich. Displacement next. We have to fight, stick together. And if we fight and stick together, we win! Yeah. 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 So we need more signatures for the tenant council, and we have to stay together. Yeah. All over this country, or we'll be sleeping on the, on the curb. Like 59 tenants that came together. It wasn't just city life, it was the tenants. And we really do need to stop these landlords and, 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 and these developers from moving us out, bringing up the rent, and chasing us out of our neighborhoods. And uh, we need to stand up to that.